Hello everyone, Willowheart here, starting off the first Wings of Fire content on the channel, not the graphic novel dub. Today, we're diving into this juicy stuff that everyone knows a little too much on YouTube. What's your favorite tribe says about you? Oh, and just for fun, I'm throwing in some career advice too because, well, let's be honest, if dragons had jobs, it would be wild. So, if you ever wondered what your inner dragon says about your personality or your dream job, let's find out. Grab your snacks, buckle up, and let's go. If Skywings are your favorite, you probably think you're hot stuff. Like, THE hot stuff. And honestly, you are. Literally and metaphorically. You are ambitious, competitive, and not afraid to let everyone know you are in charge. When role playing as one, you act like a high and mighty guard with all of the armor pieces. Even coloring it to look edgy as Faso, you love. And I don't know why, but you love to have those arena battle role plays. The kind of role play where godmothers and Mary Sues think they are the badass of the game. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going off track. But you probably can't stand sitting still for too long, which means you're always on the go, aiming for the next big thing. Ever try relaxing? <laughs> Didn't think so, especially when you are the edgy guard type trying to police everyone in game. You, <laughs> you're the CEO, obviously, maybe a pilot. You're always flying high, whatever in life, or, you know, actually flying. Because lore-wise, you are the fastest flyer around, and I can see you being the boss, who runs everything like a well-oiled machine, barking orders, but somehow getting away with it because everyone low-key respects you, or is terrified of you, or planning to backstab you sooner or later. One of those? Also, you probably have a dramatic flair and love the spotlight. Skywing fans are all about living life in the fast lane. So, if you can't be at the top, you're probably plotting to get there. And hey, kudos there. Alright, Mudwing fans, let's talk. Story-wise, you are the uncooked potato or bread. Not enough love is given to you, and thus a lot of people tend to love this tribe. Because, well, you need it. It's funny, really, because Thule says Clay is her favorite dragon, or Mudwing is her favorite. And if so, why are you hating on this tribe? You are the kind of person who just wants to chill with your fam, and honestly, I love that for you. You're the dependable one, the one everyone turns to when things go sideways. You're probably also the designated mom friend, carrying snacks and making sure no one dies. Someone has to do it. Also, you're known everywhere on YouTube, the internet, as Breadwings. We love the Breadwings, the square, cute, chunky alligators of a mudwing. You love bread. I mean, love bread. I'm not going to list them all, but there's this one bread. This one holy bread. This crunchy, soft, ah, oh, this sweet, sweet butter garlic bread. Oh, so good. You'd totally be a firefighter or a construction worker. You're the strong, reliable type, and you don't mind getting dirty if it means getting the job done. Plus, I feel like Mudwing fans are the strong but silent type, which makes you the ultimate problem solver in a crisis. You're all about simplicity and comfort. Fancy stuff? Nah. Get, give you some good food, a comfy chair, and maybe a river to nap by, and you're golden. You are a solid friend, even if you're not always in the spotlight. Mudwing fans are the unsung heroes, and we love you for it. Also, Tuli, if it's true and there is going to be a fourth arc, you better give these Mudwings the lovings they deserve. Seawing fans, you are the artsy, fantasy intellectuals of the dragon world. <laughs> you probably have at least three secret Pinterest boards for aesthetic inspirations and a Spotify playlist for the deep focus. You like your world organized, but in an artistic, look how cultured I am way. Also, there is a 90% chance you read fanfiction. <laughs> Don't lie to me. I see you. 
And don't worry, I'm also in the spotlight too, because this is also targeting me as well. Hmm. But then again, fun fact about me is I love water and I love blue, so works out fine for me. You're definitely a marine biologist or an artist, or both. Picture this, painting while scuba diving, just sea wing things. You got the creativity and the smarts to pull it up. Plus, I could see you giving a TED talk of the mysteries of the deep. You love mystery and elegance, but you're also super in tune with your emotions. One moment you're like, I am an ocean of calm. And the next you're a full on tsunami mode, ready to fight anyone who messes with your loved ones. Seeming fans, you're practically mermaids who do yoga and can throw hands, basically at the same time. Sandwing fans, I'm betting you're the friend who always down for an adventure, are you? Got a problem? You're not worried, you're the MacGyver of the group. If there's anyone who could turn a cactus and a bottle of water into a five star meal, it's you. You are resourceful, tough, and probably not scared of spiders, which is wild to me. <laughs> hey, have you seen those motherfucker camel spiders? <laughs> those fangs. Ugh. I'm glad they're not po poisonous. God. You're an archaeologist or a treasure hunter. You're Indiana Jones, minus the whip. Or maybe you do have a whip. Actually, cut that out. Cut, the, cut that out before someone makes this into something fetish as fuck. You thrive in the desert or anywhere challenging, and you're always down to dig for lost artifacts. Or at the least, hunt down that remote TV. Also, don't get on their bad side. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want them to find that motherfucker camel spider and put it in your shoes. Have you seen the YouTube videos on those? Ugh, no thank you. Icewing fans, I see you, sitting there in your perfectly organized room, sipping ice cold tea while plotting world domination in a very orderly fashion. Oh god, why do I think immediately of Androphilius from Hell of a Boss? I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. You're the friend who always has a planner and probably makes pros and cons list for everything. You love rules and structure, and honestly, you're probably a perfectionist which is both impressive and terrifying. You're a lawyer, or maybe a diplomat. You got that calm, calculated energy, but with a don't mess with me edge, the edgy type, perhaps like Winter. You're the one who finds loopholes and contracts and could probably negotiate peace between rival dragon factions without breaking a sweat. Icewing fans are all about control, but deep down, you got a soft side. Like Winter, you might act all cool and collected, but if someone compliments you, instant meltdown. You deny it though, because Icewings don't get emotional. You got a rep to protect, after all. If Rain Wings are your favorite, you are, without question, the most chill person ever. Or, you are a die-hard fan of Glory, or Sim for Jambu, as he is a perfect house husband material. You've probably been told at least once that you need to care more. But honestly, you're too busy lounging in your hammock, sipping juice, and vibing with the universe to care. Responsibility? Never heard of her. Who is she? You are definitely a yoga instructor, or a professional hammock tester. You get paid to relax, meditate, and be at one with nature. Your work attire is probably something flowy, like a colorful tunic, or if you're really feeling fancy, them pants. But don't let your chill vibes fool anyone. <laughs> like Glory, you're underestimated all the time, and when people push you too far, you could absolutely release your inner dragon on them. You just prefer to keep things on the low stress side, so the world doesn't feel your full power until it's too late. <coughs> Phoenix. <coughs> also, going backtrack, <laughs> you know I mentioned the terrifying camel spider, right? Well, <laughs> let me blow your mind with something even more terrifying and a true fact. The largest spider in the world is the Goliath Bird Eater. Yeah, look it up. It's in the rainforest of South America. Let's keep that spider down there, shall we? <laughs> Stop destroying the rainforest! Nightwing fans, you're the mysterious one. 
You love secrets, books, and possibly plotting world domination. There's a 90% chance you're into conspiracy theories or true crime podcasts, and you probably stay up way too late thinking about the universe. Sounds familiar? Yeah, I thought so. Honestly, this would be a perfect date for Starflight and Fate Speaker. You'd be a detective, or maybe a secret agent. You got the whole, I'm not telling you anything, but I know everything about you vibe. Either that, or you're an escape room designer, designing with lots of puzzles and mystery. You thrive in the world of secrets. You might also be a bit dramatic, but hey, we love that for you. Nightwing fans are deep thinkers who love uncovering the hidden truths of the world. Nightwing fans are deep thinkers who love uncovering the hidden truths of the world. Or just uncovering the plot twist in the latest episode of your favorite show and making a YouTube video about it. <coughs> Gravity Falls. <coughs> JMA. <coughs> Hi, Wing fans. You're the planners. The one who has everything color-coded and know exactly what everyone should be doing at all times. Kind of like the Ice Wings. Maybe you two could be more alike in personality than many realize. You love efficiency and probably got a little annoyed when things don't go according to plan. You definitely sent a, this has could have been an email text at least once. You're a project manager or an engineer. You're all about getting things done right and on time. Also, probably the one who organizes office parties and set up the group chats with zero tolerance for off-topic memes. Keep those work emails, professional people. But like Cricket, you're also a curious, rebellious side. When things don't make sense, you are the first to question them. You might follow the rules, but only if the rules make sense. And let's be real, you probably led a revolution if things go out of hand. High wing fans, efficient and woke. Silkwing fans, you're the artsy, creative type who values freedom and beauty. You're probably the one of your friend group who loves DIY projects and somehow makes everything look efficiently stylish. There's a good chance your room is filled with houseplants, fairy lights, and maybe a few dream catchers. Aesthetic? You're on point. You're definitely a fashion designer or an interior decorator. You got an eye for color, and you're always coming up with new ways to make things pretty. You could take a trash heap and somehow turn it into a work of art. Oh, and if you're not already selling stuff on Etsy, you should be. Silkwing fans are all about flexibility and adaptability. Like Blue, you might seem laid back, but when the time comes to shine, you're ready to spread your wings and fly. You're super patient, but also not afraid to stand up for yourself when needed. You may be a gentle soul, but don't mistake that for weakness. Leafwing fans! You're the nature-loving, eco-warrior type who values balance and growth. You are probably the one in your friend group who always advocating for environmental causes and reminding everyone to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Your aesthetic? Think earthy tones, natural materials, and a love for outdoor adventures. Your space is probably filled with plants too, but yours are the kind that needs daily attention. No plastic succulents here. You're definitely a botanist, environmental scientist, or maybe even a conservationist. You've got a passion for the environment, and you're always looking for ways to make the world greener. Also, you got a green thumb too. If you're not already running a community garden or hiking every weekend, you probably have plans to save the rainforest or lead a tree planting campaign. Also, there's a good chance you own a compost bin. Leafwing fans are all about resilience and preservation. Like Willow and Sundew, you have a fierce dedication to your belief and are willing to fight for what's right. You are adaptable, resourceful, and sometimes a little rebellious when it comes to protecting what you love. Just because you're down to earth doesn't mean you won't rise up when something matters to you. So, what do you think? Did I nail your tribe? Let me know in the comments on your opinion on what your favorite tribe says about you in particular. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Wings of Fire fun content to come, as well as some other fun gaming contents to come as well. Until next time, fly high and stay fiery everyone. Goodbye!